What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. It is in, Eugene's Bar Top is in the house. Let's unbox it and get to planning. So this one's a little bit special. This is gonna be the first ever bar top in the new workspace, so I'm super excited for that. Um, but the big thing that's kind of cool is that um, I just got two orders in for uh, Raspberry Pi builds. So now this will be really the first unboxing, but I do have two bar tops coming in within the next week. We'll do small videos on that because those are pretty quick. But real quick, we're talking about Eugene's bar top on this one. So the main thing about this kind of video is that we are gonna unbox it because I'm very excited to see how the artwork came out. We're gonna carefully hit this. Don't wanna dig too deep with the knife or else you might you know, go through it. Game Room Solutions does pack their stuff pretty good. Um, hopefully there's no nicks. We're hoping that there's no edges got nicked and all that. So big things that we're gonna unbox that I do wanna check out the artwork mostly, but I'm basically taking this moment now to basically measure out and plan everything out. I'm really excited for this because I do want to see how the Ryu artwork came out and that honestly is what I am dying to see. Um, so hopefully it came out exactly how I wanted it. Now I think Game of Solutions did make a new kind of, um, they made a new type, I mean like this is like, so game, uh, so Game Room Solutions, I think, made like another version. This is like version three of their um, bar top. I don't know what's new about it. I don't know. Uh, version two, the big thing was that the marquee, um, it used T-molding to hold the glass instead of like the L-bracket. So I'm kind of excited to see what this is. Um, it looks like their like TV mount is a little bit skinnier, which is always a good thing. But again, my main thing right now is to make sure that I got the right artwork in and to see how it looks. Cool, first one's up, we do have Eugene's Marquee. Looks great. Definitely awesome stuff. Happy with the Marquee on that one. Oh, they gave me a bezel. Cool, I didn't order this bezel. Straight black, which is A-OK, -okay, as long as there's a bezel there, that's awesome. But again, my main focus is at least to see the side art and even the control panel. So, I do kind of want to put this back I'm gonna be very nice with it, very delicate with this. We don't wanna mess anything up. I have this. That's the big thing when you are like opening stuff, you do wanna make sure that you keep like your area kind of clear. Um, I just put down a piece of cardboard to make sure I don't scratch the insides or anything like that. So we do have basic kind of panels. We got the control panel here. I always leave the padding on this. Um, big thing right now is that I'm not going to be building the bar top. That's the last step. Uh, really what I'm going to do right now is basically I'm going to wire up the button. So I do that on my lap. I don't ever, you know, I don't actually put the cam locks to this. But the big thing that I need to do right now is to measure out everything. Basically where the PC is going to go, where the power supply is going to go, and, um, you know, work from there. Big thing is to figure out where the hard drives are going to go. I have it in my mind. Now I have to make sure that it does fit. So. Always keep that in mind. Again, we are doing a mini ATX build. Um, basically, later on, I'll make a video of can you fit a mini ATX in this bar top. 90% um, of me thinks it will fit. It should fit. And uh, or else I wouldn't have built this. So let's see real quick. Control panel. Nice. Good stuff. Very good. Big thing I always do also why I make this is that I always unbox. Physically, I want you to show you opening the boxes. It's also for me personally in case, for example, I had it happen once, but it wasn't on bad terms. Uh, Game Room Solutions sent me everything right but the marquee. So I do like to document everything to make sure I have everything. So there is our control panel. Very good, very clean. Definitely graphics are exactly how I made it. I got the coin start up there. Um, again, I was gonna do like the jab, middle, and hard punch, but it just wasn't gonna look right. So there's our control panel. Definitely love it. And again, like I said, I always keep the padding on this until I start working on buttons. Now for the moment of truth, we do have the bottom. This is the bottom here, which again, we're going to be figuring out exactly where the side walls kind of line up. And then I have to figure out how to put that 
motherboard on this. We've got the base plate coming up next. This is the bottom one, basically where it kind of says the um, uh, save load or um, for me, I have it as, you know, um, on a PC build, it's exit, load, save, and then go, which is what we did for Eugene. Again, I do like to keep these kind of stuff because I do, I will put this back when I ship it to Eugene. This padding will be back on it. So let's see how this one came out. Very nice, definitely like it. It'll look even better when you, once we put the, um, the, the plexi over it. So good stuff. This is perfect exactly how it is. But now we've come to the sides, which is really what I'm very anxious to see. We have the rear of the cabinet. This is gonna be a big deal. This is a big deal because basically on this panel, I'm going to be putting three fans on the bottom as air intake, two fans up top as air outtake, or like pulling air out. And I don't know, I'm doing research as far as the subwoofer. I was thinking about putting it really on the bottom of the bar top, making a hole, I've never done it before. I think that's gonna be the more appropriate way. Worst case, I might put it here, but I'm not really a fan of that idea. So that's the back. And now we are officially on the main part that we do need, which is the side panels. I have red T-molding. I have white, I bought white for this. This will be a dual color T-molding. Uh, basically I'm doing white and red. So white for Ryu, red for Ken. I don't want to scratch Plexi. And here we go. The main thing also, I kind of want to see if, um, if we could see my little Easter egg, if I could see my logo and I hope it's not too visible. I'm pretty sure it's not because the opacity was very low on it. But again, this really is going to be like the last thing I'm going to do. Right now, basically what I'm going to do is going to do a little mock-up. Um, I'm going to basically try to line up the sides and try to estimate where exactly, you know, the motherboard will land and everything. I think this is going to be left. It should be Ryu. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. This is beautiful. Yes. That is exactly it. It's awesome. Spacing is awesome. I literally have, I'm going to be putting it, the pinball button will be in this area right here. The spacing is perfect. This is amazing. This looks good. Let me know if you guys like it. I definitely love it on the print. So this is good right here. Solid. That looks great. I'm very pleased with that. I forgot to look for the logo, which we'll do that in a second, but I'd rather first check out Ken. Keeping the padding. And there is Ken's side here. Nice, I like it. I like it. I like it, I like it. Again, same thing in Photoshop. This lines up exactly with where Ryu is. So the pinball button, it's gonna be perfect. Let's see real quick, can we see our logos? I'll be really honest, I don't see it. <laughs> I see the big VP. I could kind of see it there. I'll, I'll bring the camera down and I'll show you a close up. You don't see the big VP unless you're really looking for it. I'm now trying to see where the Game Case Arcade's logo is. And I actually don't see it. It should be here. It's kind of dark here. Oh, here it is. <laughs> you really have to look for that. You won't see that. I don't even think the camera's gonna pick that up, but real quick. Let me just put this down on it. Don't want to mess this up. Let's take a look real quick at the Ryu side. If I could see the Vic VP and the game case arcades logo, I'll come closer to you guys. I do see the Vic VP here. And I could see the game case arcades, not in a way that like you could see it definitely, but I could see it. Like now that I know it's there, I can see it. On Ken's side, I don't see the Game Case Arcade's logo. It looks like whatever was dark, it was too dark. But again, I didn't do it to really show my logo. It's more about like, you know, if somebody actually, if they do decide to put this artwork up, I'll know that my logo is on it. So that's our sides right there. Very good stuff. Um, did they send me the buttons? Yes. I got all the buttons and stuff and everything here. They always do that. They never really skimp out on that. We got all of our cam lock systems and this is good to go. Everything so far good. Artwork looks amazing. I love it. I can't wait to put it all together. 
Uh, now we're gonna basically try to map out the, the motherboard. All right guys, so I figured, you know, I don't wanna like kill the, the battery or waste time or like, you know, get too boring. But I figured I'd let you guys know what my, you know, what happens in my thought process. So right now, again, the biggest thing is that we have the bar top, we have it physically in our hands. And basically now I have to semi-construct it and then do some measurements and then figure out exactly the game plan as far as putting the computer inside of this. So basically right now, my only thing that I really need is again, everything's on the bottom. Um, the other thing that I do have to keep in mind is the kind of back end to see and compare how deep the fans are. So right now I'm gonna basically construct the TV mount, which is important because where I'm trying to figure out where the motherboard will sit um, you want to make sure there's clearance for like the graphics card and all that. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is that basically I'm going to be constructing the monitor mount without the monitor because I don't really need it. It's really the monitor mount here and we're going to be putting the bottom to see how much space I have. So again, just to kind of give you guys a little kind of background to my thought process as I go along with this. This part always gets me and I still don't even know it, it always gets me, it's very funny that um, basically on this, this is the bottom plate. I never um, figured out like which side is up. Um, they do have this groove here, which in my eyes is for the back door. Um, this way, you know, the back door doesn't really rub too much and then it kind of lifts up. Um, some other people have stated that this should be the front. Um, there's no real difference on it, but I usually always aim for it to be in the rear. So basically, and the other also funny thing is like, you know, do you put the cam locks downwards or to you? But it, it always has to be downwards. It, it wouldn't make sense uh, because of the groove. So basically, again, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to be tightening these. It's not about just throwing the piece of wood on and then measuring. No, I am putting the cam locks in. You really never want to just have it sagging like that or else you're going to really stress out the board. The screw piece of the cam lock might actually come out. So basically, again, I'm going to just construct it, not, not like heavy tightening, but basically I'm going to construct it just like that. So right now, this is, this is all the space that we have to work with. Uh, the monitor is definitely going to be coming down to the line here. I know that for sure. But the big thing was here to figure out this situation going on here. So I'm going to basically bring this down and we'll get some measurements. So I real quickly just grabbed the box. Um, again, because as of right now, this piece is just on its own. We don't want to stress that. So I have it now resting. And basically, I'm going to be doing a couple measurements. I'm going to really go downstairs and get the motherboard and measure it. Um, I did just kind of want to bring up the motherboard and just like, you know, play with it here. Um, but I still have work to do with the PC. So that's going to be the last thing. As far as like setting it up, there is like a couple of things that I'm keeping in mind. We have the fans. We got the speakers, which I'm not too worried about the speakers, to be honest, because speakers are speakers. The only thing I'm worried about is the subwoofer um, base speaker. Where am I gonna put that? So that I'm not too worried about, but also with the speakers, um, the base actually has, on all the Logitechs, you know, it's not just a speaker. You also have the little computer, and this has like, this also has like a fuse in it. So it's like this whole housing also has to be mounted somewhere, but that, I worry about that really last because I don't really need to worry about that too much. The speakers that Eugene is putting on this and he bought for me are really good. I usually use the Z313s. I think he bought like the 525s. I don't even know the number of it, but the watts on it is like insane. Um, but I know like the easy stuff as far as the speaker mounts and all that, that's easy. But again, right now I'm trying to focus on motherboard placement. We do need the power supply placement. Remember we do have hard drives. We have like four three or four hard drives. So um, I've seen a couple of people how they build their hard drives and how they mount it. I'm trying to make it clean so that in case anytime he has to take out a hard drive for like repair, it should be quick and easy. So in my mind, I'm gonna be putting the hard drives here, right along here. I've done a lot of research. And again, I'll be making tutorials on this and all that. But basically I am using this. Um, it's a white bar. Uh, basically, we're gonna bend it so it's gonna come out a little bit. Can't come out too much. It's gonna come out a little bit right across and then basically the hard drives will be mounted side by side. So there's gonna be two of these. So it's gonna be like a sandwich. So again, there's a lot of planning that goes into it. As far as the speaker idea, I know in the front, um, basically we have the control panel that lifts up and down, but maybe 
I could squeeze the actual speaker in the front. Again, I think I'm gonna be actually drilling into the bottom of this, making an opening, a hole opening, the same thing for the fans. And we're just gonna make it neat, but I think that's a good idea if I could put the base actually physically on, on this. Usually I've never done that, but I feel like maybe the base will be more louder or more thumpier, so I'm keeping that in mind. But again, right now I'm just measuring out the motherboard and the power supply. So first thing I could basically do is I could just do left and right because I do know that the side panels do end at the side. So that's a good thing. If these side panels were to come in, it probably would have been a disaster. But basically we have to be safe. We have 20 inches, 20 inches and a quarter to play with. 20 inches and a quarter left to right. On my end now is to really kind of figure out, I could put it up here just to measure it out. But right now is basically trying to figure out how much space do I have on the bottom as far as like here. You know what I mean? Because that's the big thing is the graphics card. I didn't want to get that graphics card adapter thing where it's like a cable that you could put the graphics card somewhere else. I didn't want that because I'm not a fan of that. Um, so I'm basically, the way I'm envisioning it is that motherboard should be ending right here and the graphics card should be like lined up perfectly with it because on the graphics card there's actually four holes that you can mount and I'm praying that I can mount it right here. I'm, pr I'm praying that I could hit this and screw it here. Um, so if you think about it, the door, let's just, I know it's, it comes in, um, I would say three quarters. I could always adjust the door though, so I'm not too worried about it, but I'm gonna basically go right up to the groove. So figure our depth is about five and a quarter. I should be writing this down. <laughs> Got a little smartphones are always handy and my handwriting sucks ass. So we're writing it down now. So again, I got 20 and a quarter. I do have like um, a, not a quarter of an inch, whatever, an eighth of an inch to play, but I like to, you know, bring it down a little bit. So 20 and a quarter across, five inches from the door to here, which I, I think that's plenty. I know that the motherboard is not that wide as far as where the um, graphics card is. Um, as far as height, that is the big question that's next. If I hit this here, I'm the same thing at five and a quarter, but I'm gonna put it as five, but I'm very sure I don't wanna jinx myself. I don't think that with the graphics card, it's, it's bigger than five inches. I don't think so. So I think I should be, uh, should be okay with five inches high. Um, as far as the overall depth from the front, of the cabinet to the back this right here is 16 and a quarter so i have 16 and a quarter inches to play with 16.25 overall depth that's what i have to play with right now basically right now what i'm going to do the next step is i'm going to go downstairs and i'm going to measure out the motherboard i'm going to measure out the um power supply and I might do it out of cardboard, or I might do it out of paper, but basically now it's, now we have to actually physically play with it. So I'll be right back. All right guys, we got some good news, very good news. It looks like everything should fit. I don't wanna jinx it. We're gonna real quick measure everything out. I took all of my notes, and you know, there's a lot of stuff that takes into consideration even before this whole project began. The big thing that really starts with is the motherboard. Um, real quick, I'm gonna be using an Expo marker, so it's like one of these magic, the whiteboard markers, so it'll wash off. No worries, Eugene. So the big thing is to figure out the orientation of the motherboard is which way it could go. But honestly, the biggest, biggest fact, when you look at motherboards, there's many different types, there's many different areas where they put the graphics card and all that. So the big thing that it's common sense is the graphics card. The graphics card is the biggest thing. Luckily with Eugene, he bought a small form factor graphics card and it fits, I believe, perfectly this thing should be beautifully well fitted so there's a lot of ways that the motherboard could sit um you know you really have four different ways for this specific one that he got it's stuff that i keep in mind basically again imagine there's going to be a wall here so the motherboard if i keep the graphics card in the back here um basically um the ports like the usb ports is on this side here it's literally here to access usb ports um, luckily on the right side, there's nothing here besides um, the clips that go in for the hard drive. So I do have the measurement 
of the motherboard, which is a great size. It's a nine and a half by nine and a half perfect square, 9.5 by 9.5. On this edge here, I'm gonna be giving about maybe an inch and a half of space. Um, again, we do have, what was it, 20? Basically the width of this, it's 20, it's 20 inches. I'm gonna take out the quarter inch, it's 20 inches. So we basically now minus the 9.5, so figure 10 inches to be safe. We have 10 inches left to play. And the power supply is six inches. Six inches by 6.3, uh, six and three quarters. So this is awesome. This does work out. So if I actually give myself, let's just say to be safe so that he would be able to plug and unplug stuff. I'm gonna give myself, um, I give myself maybe like two inches uh, on the side just to have it. So let's do two inches here. And again, no need to worry because this is the dry erase. The motherboard luckily is not gonna ride right at the edge. It could, the way the motherboard is built that there's nothing on this edge here. So I could literally ride the motherboard right against it, but I don't think I need that. Um, basically again, I'm just trying to map it out. It sounds weird as I speak it, but there's a lot going through my mind. And the big thing is to make sure that we can actually make this thing fit. Graphics card height is 4.75, so five inches high, and it fits perfectly. Um, that's good. I could literally ride the graphics card right here at the edge. Um, that's a good sign. Again, excuse my mumbling, and I'm literally, you guys could kind of see my thought process on how this works. I'm literally using a bullshit box just to kind of get an estimate on my measurement. So again, here we go. And I don't have to really ride the graphics card right against this edge here. I could come back a little bit. I might need to do that because again, we do have the subwoofer that I wanna put in. So the edge of the graphics card to the edge of the motherboard is 3.5 inches. If I go 3.5 inches, I have a lot of room. And I actually don't mind that. I would rather leave that here. So motherboard is here. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere, guys. Okay, guys, cool. We got our first thing in. We do have the drawing of our 9.5 by 9.5 mini ATX motherboard. I'm digging it. I like it. We got space. It's, it's great. Um, again, the big thing that's like coming to the future is that I honestly want to build my own cabinets. And the big thing that I do get is that customers want bigger screens. Um, so a lot of stuff takes into consideration on these things. So right now though, it looks pretty promising. Again, nine and a half by nine and a half. This is all good. So motherboard is in a good spot. Also remember with the motherboard, I am putting standoffs, little tiny standoffs. Doesn't even need to be major, but we don't want it to be on bare wood. They will have plastic rings. I did request it from Game Room Solutions. I don't know if they hooked it up with me. Um, uh, it's probably inside the controller box, but that's okay. Our next thing to look at real quick is now that I'm looking at it again, I have USBs here. The power supply is gonna ride up right against the wall. We don't need to worry about power supply. There's nothing on the sides of it. Um, there is two things. Yes, it's a 6.75 by six and the height of it is three and a half inches. The height of the, of the, the, the power supply is 3.5, so that is perfect. That could go anywhere. It literally could go anywhere I want it to go. It could literally sit anywhere. So that is a good sign. But again, power supply does give off a lot of heat. I'm gonna try to keep it towards the back, and again, the hope is that we're gonna have a lot of fans in this. So a 6.7 by, by six. We're gonna ride this edge again. Nice, amazing. We have a lot of room for USBs. This is looking very good. Let's go straight across on this, but I can't do that because I need to measure out. Gotta get the measurements right. That's the big thing that I am wanting to do in this build is that we need everything precise on this one. Awesome, we got power supply marked out and we got the motherboard marked out. So far, those are the main things. That was like the biggest, nerve wracking thing to deal with is the motherboard and the power supply. Cable management, I'm not too worried about because I could ride the walls on cable management. I could do a lot of stuff using the side walls. So I'm not too worried about that. So far, so good. I do have a big space in the front. 
which might work out for my subwoofer idea as far as the base. So again, mother, uh, motherboard looks good, power supply looks good. I did also measure out the hard drives. So again, real quick, we do have five, five of these fans. Um, I always have to modify these fans because they don't make connectors, surprisingly, that just kind of cross connect into each other. Um, unless actually they might, but just to kind of show you guys the idea that will happen, I'm hoping I could get three here. I always try to leave a gap up top here. I might go right here, leaving a little bit of the vent. I might ride this vent right here. So if I do one, I'm gonna take these out. These are also LED fans. He's got white color. These are not RGB because don't waste your money on RGB stuff, especially for something that's in the rear. But I do have a lot of space here. This is good. So check this out. We got one, two, and three. Again, the big thing that I'm aiming for is that there should be, I mean, he got a lot of fans and fans aren't that expensive. It's always good to have fans. Um, so real quick again, if you see here, I could go three here and I actually could even slide over, which I will. So I have enough room. I'm gonna do the center point here and it'll be just like that. It's gonna go three right there and I'm gonna be two right up top. The big thing I did wanna see though is that I wanna see the depth. These don't go in. I have, I have literally two and a half inches of depth and these are an inch deep. Um, I should have no issue with these fans being there. So the big thing now, because I'm playing with it, is, and again, essentially I'm gonna have to cut these wires so that they're short. I, I try to keep my wires clean. Um, I might figure out how to do it. it it's gotta be clean. But basically now, yes, okay, you could daisy chain these. That's a good thing. Um, so with this, I have the other ones in the, in the back. In the box, I'm missing a connection, but basically this connection will go into that connection, we'll go into that one. The big thing that I always do with these fans, I do not connect these fans to the motherboard. Um, you know, the motherboard could spin up your fans and do that. I don't do it that way. I feel like you're taking, that you're, you're beating up the motherboard. These will be connected directly to the power supply. Like they're just gonna spin. And again, the design is that it's gonna be air coming in. So this is gonna be pulling air in. These will be pushing air out. Heat rises. So the top fans here will be up top here. It's gonna push the air out. That is the main idea. Again, I sound like a nerd, but there is a lot of stuff that comes down when you are doing something like this. So again, my big thing is that I do wanna keep this clean. Um, I do have a hole saw. That's the plan. I'll show you guys real quick the plan. Basically, we're gonna take this whole saw, I'm gonna measure out everything, and then basically we're gonna just have holes. These will be screwed accordingly, and that's it. So I might, actually, this might actually work easier. I'm gonna probably do all wires right in the middle here. And like I said, you can see I have a lot of space here. See, if I aim for the fan up top, I have this whole gap in the middle. I could do all the wiring here. Yes, it's not beautiful, but it works. I mean, nobody's here for beauty, especially in the back, the rear of the cabinet, but it should work. These fans don't weigh that much, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. And yeah, I have a lot of space. There's a lot of space going on in this cabinet, which I'm shocked about. So again, later on in another video, I'll be you know mounting everything. Big thing is that yes, our hopes and our dreams, my idea, my envision for Eugene was to make sure that this bar top could fit a mini ATX build, and it does. So I'm very excited. I can't wait to get it up and running. Now that I have this, yes, we could actually real quickly, I could do it real quick with you guys. In the front now, my idea with the subwoofer is that I do have room. Uh, I'll be honest, I do have room. I haven't opened up the subwoofer yet. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So again, here's our subwoofer right here. This really is almost, it's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit bigger than the diameter of the fan. But that's okay. So again, my envision is just how this is right here. I'm gonna be drilling a hole in the bottom and basically it'll, uh, these have to be on standoffs. So I, I have standoffs coming in and basically the air, this right here will be the bottom of the cabinet. So basically the sub will be like this. On the Z313, the base like this is downwards. This one's pointing to the side. Um, I don't know my music much, but I did have like a subwoofer in my car a long time ago. Doesn't matter how it is, as long as the air intake is correct, you do need a lot of air. So this is gonna be an open air. Basically the whole cabinet's gonna be 
the air for this this thing. Uh, another cool thing, kind of big, kind of bulky, is the um, controller on this. While I'm here, I thought the box did the job, but I forgot. This is like a Z525 or something like that. Very like, very nice looking. Um, even I like the way that the speakers are are set up up top. But again, speakers are really last. I'm not really too worried about that because I know it fits. All right, guys. So quick glance, looking at and opening up as far as the buttons. Uh, on this for Eugene, we did not do LEDs because he has the other control panel with LEDs. I did suggest the concave buttons. These buttons, I mean, for me, when you're dealing with like actual fighting games and arcade, I believe you need these concaves. But do me a favor, let me know what you guys think of this idea. So again, the idea um, for the control panel, these are the, these are the, these are the player starts. The idea for the control panel as far as like Ryu side is to be white on the bottom and then we're gonna do the red on top, kind of like that. I don't know how I could do it to show you guys. I'm gonna do it on my fingers. So it'd be kind of like that. So white on the bottom and red on top. But let me know what you guys think of this. Give me your opinion. What do you guys think instead of the white and the reds, what if I did it like that? Let me know what you guys think. So again, on this one, it would be kind of like this. So either red again for Ryu because his clothing is white and his headband is red. So do we like the modified version or do we like the standard version? Basically, I swapped out the insides. Let me know what you guys think or your opinions on it. I don't really know how I feel about it. The idea of it was cool in my mind, but I think maybe the standards. But let me know down below. Help Eugene out. Give us your opinion. What do you guys think? Modified or keep it regular? Um, as far as Ken's side, same thing. So Ken has red on the bottom and then his headband is usually yellow or his hair. So that will be Ken's side there. What do you guys think if I do swap it, this would be yellow. Uh, just let me know down below. Uh, as far as buttons, we got that. We got Sanwa sticks on this and I requested the red and damn it, they fucked it up. Oh, I requested bat, bat style joysticks and they gave me the ball. Luckily though, I do have two other bar tops coming in, so I will shoot them a message and ask them if they could hook it up. Yeah, they did the balls. I don't like the balls anymore. <laughs> I do like the bat top. These are Sanwa sticks. He does have Sanwa sticks in his control panel. And honestly, these are much nicer much nicer they included now some of this what is this oh basically a pin out i don't need this because i already know how my zinmo is i respect them for i respect the idea of them helping people out and trying to understand it but i'm not a fan damn it so there's one mess up right there you were so close i just needed my bat tops that was it damn it